Mm-hmm. We'll be quick. I don't know. <laughs> Well, first of all, I make a motion that we accept our old minutes from last time. Anybody second it? Second it. Okay. No. What do you uh, want to start on uh, reviewing the pumping information? I think that's kind of vote on the minutes for Oh, that's right. You got to go back and vote. Okay, I vote that we accept the motions of the minutes of the meeting. Anybody second? George, did. second. Okay, you, you you motioned and seconded. Now you just got to vote. Aye. Okay. Aye. 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 Yes. All right. The yeah. Bumping information is kind of self-explanatory. Yeah. And I guess you can start on water withdrawal permit. Needs your signature. It's the same. I didn't print four of them out, but it's the same contract as it was last year. She just changed the date somehow. Um, back back. Before that stuff, I think, Georgia. No. Maybe. I think it's before like all this stuff. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> yep. That's the contract with Kristen. Oh. It's the same contract as before. She just changed the date from last year to this year. Okay, right. Huh? I'm still right. <laughs> we got we got in the truck we were, we're about to probably go here, and then one of us hit emergency flasher button. Oh. I'm like, I'm sitting there, going, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> it's been three months, I don't remember how it works. I'd look around the dashboard for a while to find it. That was it for that. All right, I'd like to bring up a motion to uh, rescind what we did last time or amend Wayne's wages from. Um, no, wait a minute, you're skipping it. What? Unless I get a different agenda. Well, it's, we gotta do this business. We well, can bring uh, it up. Yeah, but no, that's under old business. Oh, okay. So the booster station loan. What we came up with is we're gonna take fifty five thousand dollars out of what's left from the original from the money to do the booster station. There's sixty sixty six thousand and some change left. From that project, so the total loan payoff would be one hundred and fifty-four something, one hundred and fifty-five something. So we're going to take fifty-five thousand from what's left up there, bring the thing down to a hundred thousand. Amy's sending it out to get bids on it. Reborrow the hundred thousand for, I believe it's six months. October comes. Or, yeah, when October comes and the free cash gets certified, a rough figure, we don't know for sure, but a rough figure is like 114,000, 115, 20,000, somewhere in that range it should be at. So then once that's certified, then we'll go and put an article at a special town meeting to take the 100 and it'll be 102 or something thousand now out of the enterprise fund so when the six months comes up and the hundred thousand dollar loan is due that money will go from there pay the loan off and it'll be gone I like hearing we'll be done with it huh I like hearing we'll be done with it yeah it'll i mean it's gonna deplete the 
what do you want to call it? Reserves. Reserves, you know. To low, but the loans, I think the payment six months, so you figure it's due in the end of May. So really you only have like a two month another month before the new fiscal year budget starts. Yeah. How much is the loan gonna cost us? We'll reborrow a hundred thousand because the financial advisor, whatever he's called, said if you go less than that, you probably won't get it, it won't be too enticing for banks to do it. Sorry. I don't know. It'll whatever the interest is. So I'm guessing maybe add two to three thousand dollars to it. Okay. Because I think for the hundred and fifty thousand or something, it was like three thousand dollars in interest, maybe. But I don't know what the rates. We don't know what the rates are now. Six months. No. Right. So I'm guessing you're gonna borrow, reborrow the hundred thousand, and maybe it's gonna be a hundred and two, hundred and three to pay back. We got a vote on that, or? Yeah. Yeah, Brian, why don't you guys the vote? So it's, it's, it's the motion to reborrow the borrowing. <laughs> Yeah, to re to pay off to pay it down to a hundred thousand and then reborrow the hundred thousand for six months. And then we'll move a town special town meeting, put an article on there to ask to move the hundred thousand out of the reserve fund to pay that off when it's due. It's essentially what we do. We be able to put money back in the reserve fund anywhere. We got we get revenue so. Hopefully, well, it should. I'm guessing because well, that's going to be the next step in old business. Right. With the new rates and fees, we should come next October have some because we will have a reading with the new rates and fees. Right. So we should put. I don't know exactly how much, but we still have two. Two of the users up there haven't paid their five thousand dollars. Yeah, we're working on that. It get it gets complicated. Yeah. So. All right. So so. Um, moves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just go. I would say, I don't know. Somebody technically has to somehow word it and make the motion or. <laughs> <laughs> And then just vote on it. <laughs> so it's a lot of wordings. Yeah, you can you can write it out their way. You just spoke spewed it. So yeah. Hey down. Houdini, Houdini finances. Yeah. It gets like the cups of the ball under <laughs> too complicated. Huh? Things are getting too complicated. I guess really what we're gonna do is say that for now. We make a motion to pay down pay down the loan to a hundred thousand dollars using the leftover booster station funds and reborrow for six months. Rebar a hundred thousand for six months. I make the motion, right? Yep. And then we can make another motion at some point after free cash is certified to move the funds from one to the other. Okay. Need a second. Second. And then you vote. Third. Aye. 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 
Uh, what was I just amazing piece? What was I just? We were just talking about something, and I said that's coming next. Necklace. The money, ten thousand. Yeah, the money that hasn't been paid for the hookups yet. Two people haven't paid hookups for the uh, village. Yeah, that's we're working on that. They get it gets complicated because the owners aren't the tenants. Right. I get that. So we're working on that. I know there's something else we just. Said about rules or regulations, yeah. You just said something. I said it's coming next. <laughs> what was that? Oh, so the rules that's what it is rules and regulations. You, I need you to re vote on the start date of them, oh, right, right. but split it if you want. It's up to you guys if you want to split them or just have them all start. But. We could split it and have the fees start September 1st and then the rates start the day of the next billing, which I don't know if I can find the email, but it looks like the second. They'll be down here with the stuff the second and we'll read and bill. So it's not, it's not We're going to read again. Now. We'll, we'll sort of get straight because I know we're shooting for that January, July thing. Yeah. Right. That we got to figure out how we're going to do that. Because like I said, I think the only way we can do that is you're going to have to lose one billing at some point to get it to match up. So you have two billings in the same fiscal year. Right. Which right now, I mean, you can see the enterprise fund can't support losing a billing. Right. Yeah, I can read them. That's no big deal. I can read them to get our numbers year to year, January to December. Just mean, you know what I mean? And then it stores them and then we bill whenever we bill. We could, in other words, I guess what I'm saying is we could keep a March and an October billing. It just means I go out two other times and drive around and read them. To get the numbers we want, where it's year to year. <laughs> yeah, I just like if you go to you go to read them in the end of this month, and then bill from was it April to not to September through September. Yeah, on the old rate. Yeah, you kick in the new rate. Yeah, you have to October, November, December. And if you eat that one, or you build it again, or or, or it just that into or it just saves them until we want to read in. Yeah, you know, I mean, if we want to bill, if we want to stay on the same billing thing, but we want our yearly things, and essentially what it comes down to be is Amy loads the handheld, and I just go around and read at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, mm -hmm. and then it saves them until you actually want to bill. It doesn't forget them like the old stuff. Yeah, it doesn't forget them like the old one. Did. Unless it gets hacked. Yeah, the old one. But then you can just go back to the prior billing. The prior, like yeah. two readings before. Yeah, you know I mean, the old one, every time you read, it wiped out the previous one. The new one doesn't do that. Good. So whenever we kick in the fees, you're talking about it, you're not really doing a six month. If you start September first, then if we read again on October, you know, first, say the billing starting the regular billing day, you're billing October one, you know, you're billing from April to October. Then what about what happens what September's fee is what? You gotta attach that to the next time you bill them? Yeah. So what I'm talking about the fees is like the hydrants and the Yes, know, anything that doesn't have to do with the rate structure. So the the $40 charge for the household meter and then the price per thousand gallons. Those would be not fees. Those would be the rates. Right. The fees would be if we went out and tested the backflows before October. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, they, the company or the owner of the backflow would get billed for that. So you're not talking about meters. <clears throat> not meters. Just those kinds. Just 
yeah, I, you know, I mean, I'm somehow, I don't know. What I was saying was that the fees were stuff like that. The rates were the, how much you paid for a thousand gallons and the meter fee. Those would start the day we read, but the fees start September 1st. So you want to make a motion to say that or? Yeah, because I believe I'm pretty sure I'd have to, I'm almost positive it's October 2nd he's coming and we're going to read and then the bills will go out. Everybody gets ready. But, school and everybody. Huh? Even the school gets ready. I believe so, yes. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe so. We got to read it. Yeah. Every meeting we got has got to be read. <laughs> right. And then the whatchamacallits. Then the new, those two rates will start. Okay, so that, that, that leaves with that whole about if you go, if you October, November, December, then you want to start reading through January. You, if you, if, if you, I can, yeah, we can do that. We could, if you, the cost of another building can't be that great. You build again. Let's just let's, let's hypothetical. If we want to go with starting January one to go to that six month cycle, whenever you send out the bill, what yeah, but we still don't get. We won't get the end of the year one. If you do, if you bill for a, a, April to October. Well, if we do a reading January, which we need the reading to start the year, right? And then you go six months, it brings you to what July? Yeah. Yeah. But then we don't get the end of the year one December. I'd have to go read again anyway. Right. Because I'm, I'm suggesting an extra billing at the end of the year to catch October, November, December at the new rates. You've got three months out of six of so the fees, the fees, the rates for the meter are halved for a six month interval, and you, you got the rates as they are. So you're collecting another, you're doing another collection at the end of the beginning of January, really. And then you start it, then we start January to July. So right. But the problem is we can't read wait a minute. You read them any time. You tell me you read them any time. We can, but it's the billing. Yeah, you bill, I know. So why can't you bill it in, in January for three months? I, Amy already mentioned this to me a while back where they it doesn't cost that much to do the billing, you just do another billing. Right. So if you did a third billing this year, I mean we have to want a whole it's gonna mess people up if we do this, but you went a whole year and now we're back to six months and all of a sudden we're three months, went back to six months. Yeah. Or but we still get to read the meters three times a year. For now. No, forever. End of December. Beginning of January, then yeah. July. For this year. For any every year. Because we need for the state, we need the numbers from say January 1 to December 31st. Right. So if we read them January 1, say, which you never done on New Year's Day, but right. then we also got to go six months, read them in July. I still got to read December 30th so I can get the year total. Right. Well, that's, that's for the, the next, that's that a reading is the billing for the six months before that. All right. Then I still got to read them January 1st to start the next year. No, you start with when you read them. If you read them December 30th. Yeah, December that's true. Okay. Day, I guess I'm going to make it. That's difference. the beginning of the new fiscal year. In terms of your, your your production, yeah, how much water you? Yeah, that's true. All right, yeah, I was, the end I of was the thinking year, that end of that year, yeah, and the revenue that comes in. I mean, that's what it's true. If you if that's going to be if you bill it at the end of December or at the beginning of January, then that revenue is counted towards the fiscal year that's started the previous July, right? Yeah, that, that all straight. goes on <laughs> the previous. So then we get to the end of. The year. Try to follow us. If, if we and either you bill again at the or read again at the beginning of July and of June, yeah, and then that billing now that money is going to be for the next fiscal year. Yeah, yeah. well, it's one. Yeah, so instead of losing up. a billing, you're going to go three game. billings to get it on that January that July cycle. Yeah, and the money will fall. It'll fall in place because <clears throat> you'll be getting two billings a year. Yeah, and that it's just you know how it gets. It's because. And it, it aligns with the fiscal year, except it's, it's a half off. You know, the fiscal year for the town is a half off for the state's collection data. Yeah. But that doesn't matter to us. Now, you can say it's this data, you're still collecting the data at the, at the times you need to do it. When we need to, yeah. So, I, I mean, the, the question is, is the, the extra cost of doing another billing at the end of this year, the beginning of next year, it does throw the usage from October, November, December into 
you know, it's still in the same fiscal year. Yeah. Because money will come in. But at the end of June, when you collect all the money for the beginning of July, for, you know, next January 24 to June 30, 24, that money is going to go into the next fiscal year. Yeah. So we're going to lose, you're still going to lose one bill. We're going to, we're going to lose, you know, on paper, financially. You don't lose it. Right. You don't lose it. But the thing is, I don't think we can afford to do that anymore. Well, we can reborrow some borrowing. <laughs> I mean, that's that's where you get. Well, play. that's the only reason I was saying, do we wait and hold off and do this next fiscal year? Do the changing of the building periods? Yeah, because then we'll have a more of an idea of. Yeah, I mean, you'll have you'll have some money back into the enterprise fund, which might be able to cover. Losing that billing, losing that revenue collection. Right? Yeah, for that fiscal year, you're not. Well, I can't keep saying losing because you're not losing it. You're just you're, you're it. moving it to the next you're fiscal year. Two months worth, right? Which puts it, year. which puts it into a new fiscal year. I get that. You know, if you're, if you're reading your old your regular your regular schedule, you can read them here in October, and then you do it again in April. April. So it's January, February, March. This is a three months. Revenue, you're not going to get to this fiscal year. You only lose three months of it because the money in your next billing is going to be the next billing that you do in, in uh, uh, October, it's going to be from the next fiscal year, fiscal year 25. Correct. So you lose three months worth of revenue January, February, March. No, is that how we're going to read in July? Yeah. So what happens to April, May, June? But your regular yeah. reading, I'm, I'm just looking at revenue, not your billings. Your regular reading that you get. <laughs> I know, I get confused too. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only thing like I'm saying is good. that's what we want to get to, but we can't. We can't lose the revenue for especially this fiscal year because yeah. I don't know if it'll cover the budget. So let's start at next one then. So next one we'll have to, we'll have to well that's what I'm saying. Maybe it's worth wait until next fiscal year. Read do the same thing next, say next year. Read it in April and then read it in October. And then also read it in then read it in December, December. put that extra billing on. Yeah. Then you lose the revenue from January to July for that fiscal year. Right. It'll go to the next fiscal year. Right. It'll go to the next fiscal year. Got to do it at some point. Because then you can, because at least that way, then you can at least That's plan the, money. the budget yeah. that, hey, we're not going to have X amount of revenue. So we might have to. Not do a bunch of things this fiscal year, but then double up on them the following year. I can follow that. Right? Still doing the same thing. You do a three month billing at some point. Right. Yeah, you have no, you have no choice. Right. You're in a position where you can ride that three months after the next billing and do a nine month billing. Right. But, you know, if it's not I'd that much money, I'd rather see small billing for yes, me too. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it's not from what Jim, uh, Amy told me, it doesn't cost that much to do. Mail. Right. So we just mail another bill. Yeah. Yeah. Or somehow, yeah, you know I mean, we move it. Or oh, we just yeah. go to quarterly billing. Maybe you could go to quarterly billing, then you really don't lose much. No. You lose definitely, you'll just lose three months. At some point, we're going to lose three months. That's how we do it. Yeah. Okay. That's square in my head, but what one of these. Yeah, as suppose you bring it up again, it won't be. <laughs> no. Yeah, so it sounds like the plan is either really we want to stay biannually or whatever billing, wait until next fiscal year so you really can plan the budget for it. Yeah. Or you go to quarterly billing and lose the three months. You know what I mean? Which wouldn't be so much a hit on the budget for that fiscal year. You Four billions a year instead of two. Right. And I don't know if that makes a big difference to people or not. 
I'd say let's just stay with two times a year. It's less confusing to the people. So right for most people, it's not that big a bill. It's it's you know if my property taxes were as low as my water bill, I'd be happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's often a function and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, except for the big users who have the big bills, we say the Yankee Candle is always late paying. Mean, collections are always uh, Well, that's the whole issue. Where you, the closer you push the reading, like now when stuff happens, the closer we get into like May, we really start getting nervous because you yeah. know if you read. If you read the things, say, the first week of June, they're really not due until the first week of July, which now moves it into a new fiscal year. Yeah, right, I get it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So when we, when something happens, you really start getting into, like, the beginning of May reading, we start getting nervous, more and more nervous. Because you need that income to come in before June 30th. So that's the kind of thing that throws me off. If you're billing... You're billing for water use between January and June 30th. Well, it would still go towards that fiscal year. If it so, say you read the end of May and the bills were June due June 30th, that money still technically goes to that fiscal year, even though say somebody brings it a week later, later. into July. But the problem with that is when it comes into July, it's now. It's not there to pay put towards right. that year's budget yeah, yet next until year. it shows up. So if you if you if you read at the very end of June and bill and begin in July, that money goes to the next fiscal year for water that was actually used right. the previous fiscal year. No. If it was used from January to June. The money actually belongs to the that fiscal year that you read in June. Yeah. But if I bill but the July, bill, but the the budget ends June 30th, and now the money's not there to cover the budget. Yeah. It's the big thing. Even though the money that comes in in July is supposed to be for that. But it's not there. It's on paper. Uh huh. It's on paper. It's there in the billing. Right. But it's not it's in not revenue. It's uh, not in the bank account to bank. pay the bills. That's why we get very nervous when you start getting the bills start getting close, due close to. The switch of the fiscal year. Yeah, it belongs to that fiscal year, but it's not actually physically in the bank account to pay for that fiscal yeah. year. Yeah. If you well, however, if you're reading, if we stuck with the reading the way to do it now, April and October. But if you stick with that and you, you can do your reading in January one. Yeah, we can read any time with this new system because it's safe. So you can track the data from the state however you want. Just keep it building the way we keep it. Yeah. You Lots could. Sense. Technically, you can. It just means going out. It's another reading. Once more and reading. Three. Yeah. It means just Sometimes. loading the machine up and reading once more. Right. So you gotta, you gotta have to have kids, like two record keeping things. One for billing and another for state data. Right. Yeah. If that's the easiest thing to do, let's do that. Well, I'll ask, I'll talk with Eden and see what she thinks. Because if, you know, we've got a billing cycle, people are used to it, and you said it's not messing around with <laughs> Well, the big <laughs> thing is, is, yeah, we try keeping where you're not sending the water bills and the tax bills out. Yes, and you do the same want the revenue in before the 30th of June. Yes. So you got to do it. If you bill it in, in April, then you've got a good chance to get the money by the 30th of June. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. So well, that makes sense to me. With that. If you can record the data that you need for this, keep the yeah, it just means loading that thing up and driving around one more time to get just right. the numbers I need for the year. Right, yeah. keep that separate from the billing bit. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo. Problem solved. <laughs> I believe it should work no out move. that way. <laughs> it should work out that way. All right, let's try <laughs> cooking for that. Because we keep it the same billing schedule, we're going to get all up in arms. It'll, you know, it helps break up in some ways, I guess. Although yeah. it's still their irrigation season gets whacked in one shot. Well, that's their yeah. problem. That's their problem. Yeah. You can't split the summers up. No, not the way. You... Yeah. So in that case, I move that we do do what you said. Do the fees. Fees start September first, but the rates and everything, meter rates and all that stuff starts on October first. So that billing. Well, just have it to keep it vague. When the next 
reading takes place, which it sounds like it definitely they're going to be here October 2nd. So, Fine. but who the hell knows? Just, just call them and keep reminding them. Well, no, they're coming. Yeah. It's just uh, who knows with the electronics. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the way we thought would be the easiest way is you just you make the motion that the rates start at the time of the next bill. Re reading, not billing. Yeah, Because they won't bill until yeah. whatever, a week or whatever it takes to put them together. Right. But the reading will be done, as far as we know, we're planning on this second. Okay. Right. Which is when essentially the new rates go into place. The new rates. This but instead of like we're saying just because for some reason, so we don't have to revote on it again, just kind of keep it instead of putting the new rates will go into effect October, say second, just put the new rates will go into effect at the time of the next reading. Just in case that maybe it might happen, maybe it'll happen on the first. You put in parentheses projected to be up a little yeah, second. right. Because as far as we're concerned, we're really putting in effect at that reading, yes, in the next beginning of October. Yeah. So that when people get their March billing, they're gonna see the meter fee and yeah, and we figure out I figure I'll put, I don't know, some kind of letter. I'll write some kind of letter up and throw it in with the bill. Yeah, I might as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know if we need to copy that whole no. fee schedule. They can come look maybe back. for yeah, I'll just put it's on the website. I'll put the household ones. Yeah, you know I mean the one that's gonna affect 95% of the, the people. people. I'll just put those two things in there and then <laughs> yeah, on it I'll say if you want to see the rest of them, they're on the website or I thought you were going to put a paper out there so people could pick it up. There was. Yeah. So if you really want to water your lawn when it's raining out. Yeah. Here's what Here it is. 27,152. Magic <laughs> number. Gallons per acre per inch. All right. So you made a motion. Now you just got to vote on it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now next thing with those. I know we got here from the previous one. The fees you set for the town buildings. That's one thing I forgot to ask actually. Those fees are including the because most of them don't have meters. That's just what you want to set them at? Yeah, we voted on it last last meeting. Well, I mean, yeah. 25 bucks. Right, but that's including a meter fee. Is what I'm getting at. They don't yes. have a meter. No. But when you're coming up with the numbers, you know what I mean? Well, with no, if they had a meter, they'd have that extra fee. Without a meter, you're not you don't have that extra. So I guess what I'm saying is the numbers you came up with, you know, I mean, would that include if they had a meter? If they have a meter, then we're reading the meter. Right. But you get what I'm saying? Well, yeah, everybody better. else has got so, a meter fee, but these so if, people are so if early he not. had a meter in it, instead of it being fifty dollar plain thing every billing cycle, yeah, there'd be a forty dollar meter fee plus the water you use. Yes. Go like everybody else, right? So, right, right. So, I guess what I'm saying at is, are you good with? Well, so, what you're you saying, get what I'm saying, we should add another fifty dollars to every one of these because, well, I'm not saying else, fifty dollars, but do you get what I'm saying? Or four? What is the meter from forty? Right. Right. So, if I'm just using Hurley here example, if Hurley he had a meter in there, each billing would be an automatic forty dollars, yeah. then plus the water he used. Yeah. So they are you good with the fifty dollar fee? So essentially, you're saying they're going to use ten dollars of water for six months. I don't know how much they use, do you? No, I have no idea. But Hurley, he, Hurley is a different one, and I could that one can get done no problem. We can put a, I can get a meter in there, no problem. I it's think just, you should put one in there. It's just yeah. not going to be on 
the three hydrants out in the fields. Yeah. Why don't we just tack on forty dollars? So make Hurley Heat Park ninety dollars. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Are you good with each one of these? We probably should tack on forty dollars. You know, I don't think the cemetery should have one. No. Well, the library really. Much what the library is. Uh huh. Right. But what I'm getting at is the cemeteries don't use much water, yeah. but if there was a meter, it'd be a minimum of at least $40. A meter. So you want to charge them 40 instead of 25? Well, I don't, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Are you good with me? So, you know what I mean? If you're going to charge what I'm getting at, you're going to charge somebody that uses 3,000 gallons in six months, but they're going to get charged an automatic 40 then pay for the 3,000 gallons. But how do we justify when they don't have a meter? I mean, I get what you're saying, but... It's cheaper. I, to me, you justify it as it'd be cheaper for you to just pay the $40 than to actually put that meter in. Yeah, it's like if you tell me, you know, the library is twenty five dollars. Instead of King, we get a meter in there anyway. Well, you can't, but it's going to take them some time to get a meter, and, and they're not, you know, obviously the fire. They state. should have meters because, and then it makes it a lot easier for me yeah. at the end of the year. That way, you can count for the water, right? Mm -hmm. But that's the only thing that I was looking through that I was wondering. You know, I mean, is it? Well, I can see. Is it fair to? All the residential customers that they're paying for the meter fee and you're giving the town a break because you know i mean certain circumstances like it's just it's not worth having the town spend the money at the highway garage to dig everything up to put a meter in yeah. right now no when they get a new garage yes right. then it can be do that yeah and like but is it fair like all of us are paying for a meter then paying for the water where these guys you're just kind of putting a flat fee on which is actually cheaper than the actual meter fee <laughs> i don't know that's in other ways we can just leave it as it is well, i can see making it you know 40 or 50 bucks and then it's a wash because i don't see where you got to put a meter in the library see i think the highway system. garage is fine that one's i think i think okay. leave that thing alone or the fire station Fire station, I think that's fine because they're going to put a meter in. So when they get a meter in, that'll be 40 bucks plus. Yeah, plus the 50. Plus the 50. So now you're down to the cemetery and early. Cemeteries is. Cemetery. Yeah. Like... The cemetery is a tough one. Maybe we just charge them the meter fee. I don't know. Or the meter fee. Maybe it's 50 bucks a gallon, $10 of water. So that's not big enough. That's about 2,000 gallons of water. Do they use that much? You don't even know. I don't know if them three cemeteries would use that. I don't know. Probably not. I doubt it. We just go there and fill a water can or something. Go water the water of the flowers. flowers. Yeah. yeah. That's about what they did. So they really pay, they're really paying to have the water available. And that's what I'm getting. At. Yeah. Is what we put the meter fee is, is kind of, that's what we're using. So it's always been free. And now if you charge, start charging them $50 every six months, it's $100 a year. Yeah, which to me, I think it's a lot. That's right. That's right. I think it's 25. Because you never, I mean, just, I, I, I'm not worried with the music. He's never going to put a meter at the library or the cemetery. You don't need it. Right. That's the point. The library people go take a peek. And they're not having coffee lunches and things there. Right. Uh, Hurley Heat Park, yeah, I can see whacking up to the meter right now. Yeah, that, like I said, Hurley Heat's easy enough to put a meter inside the building for the bathrooms and yeah, the kitchen and that. Plus the outside faucets if somebody wants to water the lawn or something. Right, but that gets a little more difficult because now you got to go all the way back to the road, yeah, put, put it underground. Put a meter pit in. Eventually, you're going to run a water main area. We want to run a whatchamacallit. We want to run at least a six-inch pipe to put a hydrant up. So if we do that, then yeah, we'll while we're putting that in, we'll just dig the other one up by the road and actually and put a meter put in, and then everything's needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is 50 bucks reasonable for now, or should we up it? For 
early. He Hurley, he's kind of like the cemetery. Kind of a lot of water gets used from March to October. Yeah. Yeah. Then it shuts down. So you have an annual fee. And I don't know if, well, that's what I'm thinking. Instead of anything, do we just make it an annual fee? But I don't know. I'd have to ask Amy if. And that screws up the computer. Yeah, can it's you still, take it on and off the billing cycle the amount, each time? The amount is 50 bucks every six months. That means it's a $100 annual fee. That's all you have. You need to rectify that. Yeah. It's an annual fee. We know you don't use the water in the wintertime, but we're billing twice a year. Yeah. And that's for accounting purposes. Right. Town owns that anyway, right? So the town has to move the money from one reborrowed account to another. Well, it just come out of every each one's budget. Yeah. Yeah. So that way we just leave it alone then. Yeah, it's hundred bucks. Yeah. And again, when you when you do all this work and make it into a you know a fancier park with a hydrant down there and move the water line, well, yeah, a meter on it. Yeah, but at that point it will. We'll dig it up. We'll put a meter pit in. And I mean, I don't think we're out to you know punish anybody off the start and get no, the town just... into paying for the water. Is, this is the first step. Yeah, and especially making it fair to everyone. Right, and the one that's really going to give you give us revenue is the school. Yeah, which you know, I'm like stunned they haven't been paying all along. Put a meter in the building when they build it, and then you know, meter the water. <laughs> well, it's because it's all part of the town. That's yeah. All right, so we'll just leave that as it is. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right, B. You apologize, man. Um, I want to make a motion to rescind what we voted on the last time for Wayne's salary um, or hours. I want to change it to Wayne getting a salary, not hours. Okay, so I want to. I'm going to make a motion to amend um, our last vote. And change it to Wayne getting a salary and not ours. Anybody second it? Second it. Really, you just in turn what she's saying is you're taking it from an hourly right. the superintendent's job from being an hourly position to your now salary. Yeah. Right. Really reasonable. But you, you know, you're doing stuff for the I mean it's what well, happens with plowing and snow and doing stuff for the town is outside of that, right? Yes, my essentially what it does is the salary position is exempt from overtime. So it makes the accountant and all that stuff easier for the town. Yeah, much easier. It's not overtime it's not... And you're happy with that? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, it's all so you're, you're the guy. on that. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, how it's been painted neck with budget. I... You got to check with the highway department. He's got a budget. He's got to figure out, guess how much overtime is going to be. So that his salary request in the budget has to include regular wages plus overtime. Right. And it, it, overtime is inconsistent. Right. Whereas salary, it's pretty easy to budget. Come it's budget that's why when I was told when I went to what is going to be doing on Friday afternoon, I don't care. Basically told me to get the damn job done. I don't care how long it takes. <laughs> you know, so. But some days, some weeks, that was 70 hours. Yeah. <laughs> now it's really. Yeah. Yeah, and you just need a second and vote. I mean, how much you... I second it. And vote. All in favor? All in favor. All right. All right. All right. So now you'll have to deal with Brian trying to say, well, since you're on salary, we don't have to pay you to do the plowing. <laughs> <laughs> you want separate. Keep it separate, yeah. Uh, yeah, you gotta remember all that's separate from oh I know. That's down. That's different, different account. Yeah. So I so I sent that letter. The letter sent out. I need mean, much to say about that. I'll wait for just the plane, yeah. Now you got to wait for their reply yeah. when you know that they never tested the dirt. I don't believe so. So then the guy would have told us. Send out another letter 
thing that you have to go to certain sites to have it tested. Yeah. yeah. We did kind of went through non-payments already, the booster station generator, that's good in the process of getting hooked up. I was waiting to see what was going to happen with this loan. So the treatment plant, oh, I don't know what's going on down there. So if I, I just, There's I not a manual right now. Well, telemetry doesn't work? No, we sent out the radios at the beginning of the week and hopefully we get an answer that There is an issue with the radios, and that's what's problem. But we don't know until we get that back. I hope it don't take too long. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's going into fall, so pretty predictable. Yeah, I know, but it's a pain for him. Not really. <laughs> but no, it's been whatchamacallit. I'll go there a few times a day. I think I got him. I, if they don't come in this week, by the end of the week, I should have it pretty much dialed in where it's got the tank back up full and you still can read it, it though down below though, right? In the box. I can read it at the tank. Yeah. So you don't have yeah. to crawl up on the tank. No. Well, we know what happens last time about that. So once a day I'll crawl up on the tank and just put my eyeballs on it. <laughs> not not that tall. <laughs> no. The oh, I got these, John. If you want to look at we use that, it was the 150 uh, milligrams, yeah, anything over 150. Is but I am going to have them. Uh, I have issues with the calcium dropping out of the water a lot quicker down there now, it's plugging up the chlorine pumps and everything. So we're going to have them do a water quality so we can figure out the, and the only thing I've noticed is. I mean, we've always ran somewhere around eight for the pH, and it's a little bit higher running now. Not much. Everything's still under limits. Well under the limits, but that's the only thing I've noticed that's come up some and talking with guys it, must it be seems due to like, all the rain. Yeah, talking with guys, it seems like yeah, if the pH goes up, it helps or induces or whatever you want to call it, the calcium to drop out. Well, so that, it dissolves in water. Yeah. So that injector keeps plugging up. Yeah, that does. It get it gets into the gut into the the analyzer. Anything less than fifty parts per million is soft water. Anything more than one hundred fifty is considered hard water. Yeah. So we're somewhere between one hundred and one hundred fifty. Yeah, we're moderately hard water. Yeah, yeah we're pushing the one hundred and forty. So you throw, I said, you throw in that oxidation stuff going on at the treatment plant. You're going to drop some of that on a solution too. Right. I know. I just I mentioned about this morning. I said, maybe we should look at water soluble. Maybe we should. You know, because <laughs> you know, it's, we bought a new bathrooms, fifty thousand yeah. dollars yeah. bathrooms, and they got stuck in them. Yeah. But you know, I don't know whether they're going to put a water soluble in, but we'll see. So I'm looking at all these, and all the hardness is over 100, 122, 116. Yeah. pH is up around it. Alkalinity is 120, which isn't that high. It's you know, it's just, it's not bad, better than most of them. I'm still can't understand where the calcium is coming from. Probably. It is hard. It's 152. Is that one? Probably somebody's house, maybe. Should say right on top somewhere. Yeah, that was the way they were from. Oh. oh, right at the plant. Yeah, it's way right at the plant. It's, ooh, 201. That's hard. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not surprised this is going on. We've known, you know. Right. So like I said, I don't know. Maybe it's coming to the point where we're going to have to 40. do something about it. You can't really do anything. You, you, you already got, you're already pulling things out of the water. You would add a big water softener to this so people have to deal with calcium. Calcium's not anything dangerous about it. We don't have to do anything. Right. So all of us as homeowners, we can put. No, I meant more on the more of like, down near down to there, keep that stuff. Pump. Maybe we have to put a little, yeah, a little water softener in there just for that water amusing yeah. coming back. That tree implant is going to get bigger. There's one fifty six. That's it's it's pretty hard. It's not ridiculous hard water. It's hard water.
No, I mean, so that would, that would be just a water softener for the when you add chlorine in that when you mix the chlorine. See, I'm not even really worried about that one. It's it's the analyzer. It'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, you put it in there, and you don't need something huge because you're only talking as long as the thing will flow a, a gallon a minute. Yeah, I mean, for that what I use, that won't change the reading of the chlorine. I don't that. know. That's what I got to look at to see if that changes that, the analyzer yeah, reading. And then that screw up the analyzer. Right, which I don't know if you can do that or not. That's a question I get to ask the DEP. You know what I mean? Can I put some kind of little watering softener system on coming back to that analyzer? You get have to ask them because that's the treatment process. And right. Like to do the right. right by them. Well, that's what I'm saying, and I don't know if it'll. Yeah, I mean, will it change that reading? Yeah. Or if it does change it, you'd have to compensate for it. Mm -hmm. You'd have to compensate for it if it made a less reading or more. Right. Reading. Or the other way to solve it is you go to the newer style readings with what are they just like probes? Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't have all the little tubes and stuff running through them. It's just literally a probe that sits in the water. So you wouldn't have to buy the chemicals that you make. Yeah, there's no chemicals to buy. You just got, I can't remember what Tony said, every six months or so, he's got to change the tip on it. What's that cost? Not cheap. <laughs> I don't know. I'm oh, guessing cheap to keep. I'm guessing five to eight grand probably for one. Well, it's not cheap to keep clean. Well, the whole unit, you know what I mean? You'd have to get the whole unit. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> no, and I mean, I got to run the numbers, and it's not getting cheap for the reagents. It's probably costing a little over two grand a year now yeah. for the reagents for that analyzer. And plus cleaning. Yeah. So, I mean, it, get, it would be, well, the kits to clean it, probably, yeah, okay, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. 300 bucks, plus which I was only doing once life. a year or twice a year, but now it seems like I'm doing it a lot more often. Yeah, so, well, well, yeah, I'll do the numbers and see life. what one of the other ones would cost once and see how long the life. payback would be. If that, I mean, the calcium is becoming a problem too. I mean, that could be accumulating tax too. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can guarantee you it's probably in the filters accumulating because it it accumulates like the only thing I did was I it seems to keep a lot more steady residual too is to put a little mixer in the day tank, mm -hmm. which there's a nice outlet that because of the air that's going to get injected, so the thing only comes on when the pumps are on. But it seems to be holding. I don't know if it's doing anything. It's too early to tell if it's doing anything for the whatchamacallit, but it does seem to be keeping a lot steadier residual now. Yeah. When are we about to come up on uh, what I want to say? Cleaning them filters or? Yeah. Got another two or three years. I don't, that. that's, I don't know. Four years? Works. They've only been in there four or five years. Probably four or five more years. The media? Yeah. Now, is there any I way haven't seen, checked out? The only thing I can go by is I do a daily manganese test with our, which isn't yeah. very accurate, but, and then they still test monthly. So the only thing I can go by is when you start seeing them numbers go up. Go up. Well, at least there was something to us. I think they said 10 years. On the... Yeah, they said 10 years. But I don't know if they figured on this much. Yeah, well, that's what I'm kind of worried about. Yeah, I mean, you know, because you remember, this is like the first commercial use for their system, <laughs> which they're working great. It's, it's working just, great. It's yeah. Good job. Yeah, it's just, I mean, that's another one of them things that, yeah, they say 10 years, but being the first, who knows? If they could go seven years, eight years. Yeah, or they could go 12. Can you 
we can draw water from that one filter, isn't the number one filter, the one that we did all the tests with? Or no, the they never put, no. We didn't put a test thing on every filter. No, no. Remember we had one filter. Yeah, originally. I know which one that is. Okay, so can we test the water coming out of that filter and see if it's any higher than the other ones? I'm trying to think. Because that one's got another year on it, right? Right, but I'm trying to think if there's a way without shutting all the other ones off, I can get a sample out of that one. I don't know if there's a, is there a bleed on that one? Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a bleeder up top. I don't know if I can get water out of it. Maybe. I have to see. You know, and see if that one's different from, say, the last yeah, one. Yeah, the other in, ones. If there's a difference reading. I would say if there is maybe just a real and that little be one, because you remember it, it's older, it's two years older. We only had what two extra weeks of water running through it. Yeah, it's about two extra weeks. Yeah, we had to do that pilot study for two weeks. Yeah. So I don't think it had. Yeah, I mean it doesn't have a ton more water running through it than the other ones did. Yeah, I would say it's probably a little bit different. Yeah, well, it had water sitting in it for two years. That's that would make a difference in what I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We did recharge it when we watch my call it. Yeah. Repermagnated it or whatever, recharge it, whatever you want to call it. The purple stuff. <laughs> I never, I never thought of that about pulling out calcium too, and I wonder how much it does. If they can, you know, it's got to be pulling out calcium too. See, we never asked them when we were talking to them about them filters. The only thing we asked them was iron. The iron, and, and they, yeah. and iron, they said that will they it would a little bit, but they said the higher the iron content, the more arsenic they'll pull, yeah. which they have because we were. We always crept, not even crept, it always hung right around that limit. Five. And Ten. since the filters went in, it dropped. Yeah. That little sludge puddle back there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not long enough all it has its waste. And it's still drained. <laughs> Can't believe it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I make a motion. We end the meeting. A second it. Agreed. Equal stuff to do. Mm -hmm. uh, Scrape calcium off his tanks. <laughs>